Welcome back to another tech tip by Appliance Video. Today we will take a look at why does my food get freezer burn? Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. We've all been there before. You go to retrieve something from your freezer only to find it's been caked in ice and has freezer burn. You can tell your food is freezer burnt if it has a grey or white area on the food that is dry. While it's 100% safe to consume, freezer burn can affect both the taste and the texture of your food, so it's best to avoid it. The top method for avoiding freezer burn is to use moisture or barrier proof packing, heavy duty aluminium foil or freezer bags to properly wrap foods for the long term storage. Make sure all of the air is out of the packages as moisture evaporates from the food and then it condensates as ice crystals. Sometimes it's not about how you could store the items, rather it could be the freezer itself. Make sure your freezer control is set to the proper setting. If it is set properly, your freezer section should be between negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit and 5 degrees Fahrenheit. While you may have the right freezer storage bags, make sure all your packages are secure and do not have any exposed surfaces such as bones protruding out. This introduces unwanted air into the package and as mentioned before, creates ice crystals. Avoid introducing too much warm food into the freezer at one time. This can cause the temperature in the freezer to increase as well as other food surfaces to dangerously warm temperatures. When introducing unfrozen food to your freezer, allow it some time to cool to room temperature first or add only two or three small packages at a time. Lastly, it could simply be caused by time. If your food has been frozen too long, this could cause freezer burn. Look for our series of food storage videos for proper storage temperatures and ranges of different food items. If this video helped you, like the video and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.